Hello and welcome to Coach's Corner. My name is Dean Maher. Today we're going to focus on lag putting. So being able to make sure our ball is hit at the right speed that we're sort of looking for. Now, playing at Eleanor, you're going to be faced with a lot of highly difficult long putts. And I find a lot of the time people are three putting, not necessarily because they're missing short putts, but because they're leaving themselves too long of a putt. So it's really important, obviously, that your lag putts are right up nice and cozy close to the hole so that you can just tap it in. Uh, of course, as I said, very difficult here because you're having to face a lot of uphill, then downhill, downhill, then uphill, a lot of sort of winding sort of slopes. And if you're not able to sort of feed the ball at a certain speed into a certain area, you're going to find that, that you're going to be racing it well past or leaving it well short. And this is a drill that's going to help you to do that. So uh, what we basically set up here is I've got two tees on the ground, just wide enough to fit my putter head through. I've got two shafts. Uh, in the distance there, I've got 10 meters to the first shaft, 15 meters to the second shaft, and I've got four balls. Now what I'm trying to do is make sure all four balls finish in between those two shafts. The challenge of the drill is that each ball must go a little bit longer than the one before it, otherwise you fail. <laughs> so basically, uh, what I've got set up here, why I've got the two tees here is because center contact on your long putts is very important. I think as people get to their long putts, they tend to either look up too early or they tend to miss the sweet spot of the putt. And if it trampolines out of a different part of the club, it's going to have a very different length. So it's really important that you middle your long putts. And, you know, simple things like keeping your head still, simple things like just making sure your head is watching down as you strike through the putt are very, very important to helping you get center contact. So if you get this wrong, basically you'll hit one of the tees and uh, your ball will soon know about it. The other parts of long putting and getting this drill really down pat is that tempo wise, you're trying to feel like there's a tick tock to your stroke. So tick tock, tick tock. I'm using my shoulders to help me to do that. My hands are nice and soft. Generally when I see people do long putting, they take it back too short and they rush it through very, very hard to get consistent pace and help your brain to really feel uh, distance control if every single part, there's a different amount of tension in your hands and there's a different amount of acceleration through the ball. So try to take a lot of that acceleration out of it and just feel like the putter is just falling smoothly through the ball. And so as I do this drill, let's see how I go. The first part I want to be just long enough to get past that first shaft. Tick tock. So it's, it's within the area, which is good, but it's gone a little further into the area than I would have liked. I want that ball to be a bit cozier to that first one. And so what I'm gonna feel in the next one is just a little bit longer of a swing. See how we go. Get past it, hit the ball. That's just <laughs> unfortunate. Uh, but let's say, for instance, that um, that ball missed it. It probably would've gone just a touch longer. I don't have a lot of area to that last shaft and I might find these last two very difficult. I may have failed. I won't show you that because uh, I don't want to see, my, I don't want to show myself failing basically. At the end of the day, uh, this drill is fantastic. You basically, if you fail, you just come back, start again. And it kind of teaches you, there's a little bit of pressure involved when you've got that last ball that you're trying to get into the area, you know, it, you feel a bit more nervous. So it's important to how to handle the nerves as well. Uh, this is 10 meters away. You can then back up to 15 meters to make it harder, 20 meters. I'm down here at Hidden Valley on the practice chipping area green. It's a really wonderful place. Even though the slopes aren't like this, again, it's about starting from a good square base of fundamental skill. So it's a slight downhill. I then can go uphill. I can go side hill. I can do a lot of different sort of putts here, but I'm going to sort of make sure I practice, practice, practice so that I get really good at being able to feel how much I need to swing to create that amount of speed. And if I'm consistently hitting the sweet spot of the putter, I think I'm going to get pretty good out there on Eleanor's green. So a great place to practice. Please come down here as much as you can. It's generally pretty quiet. Would love to hear that you're doing this drill and how many times you made sure all four balls finished in that area. Good luck with it.